from the code because now we only have the blog example. I don't know if, how many of you have been to the X-Base talk this morning? Well, so, <laughs> looks like you know what I'm talking about. Um, what we want to do is, it's not that, you know, Stuki starts writing all these extensions now. <laughs> because, um, well, it's, it's a sad thing. The cool thing I really like about Typo 3 is that you don't have to start from scratch because there's so many extensions in the extension repository. And, you know, that's one of the great strengths, the community. And we're, we're thinking that, well, if you like XBase and you don't know what to do with, <laughs> you know, when you want to try something out with XBase, we suggest just take one of these and try playing around with it. And it's not that you're, you're going to be on your, uh, on, on your own, because we were thinking that we have at least five of these extensions, of these major extensions, um, ported over to XBase on a stable, stable version for version 4.4. So we can start right off with version 4.4 and all these extensions. And maybe we can also use them right away with version 5 too. So they're all future proof. And uh, we really hope that you will participate on, on this uh, journey or in this uh, coding sessions. So the next step would be that if you want to to help out in one of these extensions, to, to write them and to, to make uh, uh, X-Base code with these, we suggest that you, you write on the Typo3 on the MVC list that you're interested in it, and the core team will respond to that, and we can form teams to work on several of these extensions. And we were going to push this, and we also want that that you're not feeling alone, and that, that everything's going to be, um, you know, looked over by, by Sebastian, by Jochen, by all these guys who know the MVC by heart. And um, we really hope that this will be one of these huge steps that's, that all the people are really scared of right now. Well, if version 5 comes out, there's no, no guarantee that my favorite extension TT News is going to be ported. Well, if it's already ported, then it's no big deal because it already al also works with version 4. Plus, once we, we have these MVC versions, these X-Base versions of TT News, for instance, we can also fix all the bugs that are still not open of TT News <laughs> because we, we won't make these mistakes. Yeah, we hope to have a lot of these um, Extensions ready with 4.4. I will write down this list and put it in the MVC um, mailing list so you can all uh, have a look and, well, if you have some spare time, start coding. So we're coming to the next big topic. It's going to be we, you, and I. That's exactly the thing. That most of the time I feel very... Um, alone because I do all my coding uh, on my own. I have this project working on it, and it, I'm also doing it all in my spare time. I I don't get hardly get paid for Typo3 development. So I'm the core team really is just one of us. <laughs> so it's it's nothing. Oh, the core team is that that um, team that releases the Typo3 core. It's it's all of us. And well, we've seen the chart. And 100% is a huge task for just these 20 guys um, doing this in their spare time. So looking back at the chart, the 20% that are missing, it's not the top core team, it's us, it's we. We want to, to make a good 4.4 version. We want to have a, a great release with all the, the future-proof extensions, which are, of course, not part going to be part of the release, but still we want to have it. But also we want to have a, a common view, a common uh, perspective on this release, and it's something we all should work on together. It's not just the core team, because yeah, really the core team is just these guys. You know, <laughs> they're they're just some nerds, just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, open source is so powerful because. We're all in one community, and the community is working on the, uh, on the project, which is the Typo3 core and the extensions. Or to put it in a better way, 
We want to bring the community into the core, to the core. Everybody can participate and everybody can make the, the fin final product for version 4.4 better and uh, streamlined and way more better shaped than, than how, you, like, how you want it. Because that's, <laughs> we can do just what we see and if we all work together, we find a, a good way to, to have a version 4.4 that really matters and that really can uh, be put as a, uh, as a special product in the, type of, in, in the Type 3 line, really. Because the 100% the are, the, are the thing that, that's matter, that matters. The 100% thing, that's the thing that our clients, our agencies see. That's what they're looking for, and not the 80%. Well, so are there any questions on this uh, view or on this topic? <laughs> Um, about the uh, MVC uh, transition of all the um, new extensions like we wrote down, um, you said it should be supervised by the core team. Do you think it would be possible to uh, like condense all this 50 gallery extensions to just one which is, well, working? <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean if, if, if this is the idea, big ups. Uh, we already did that. Uh, the problem is uh, that many of these extensions are specialized. Some of them use Lightbox, some of them do some other things, some of them do multiple previews and so on. So if you try to combine all these things into one place, you will uh, get a huge piece of code which is very hard to min maintain. So uh, in my opinion, that's personal opinion, I do not say it's fully valid and correct, but in my opinion, it's good that there are several such extensions. Uh, maybe they can share a certain gallery core for effects or this kind of stuff, but uh, they can be specific uh, for functionality. Some light box, some, I don't know, three pictures and so on. Um, and I think if there's a team um, working on this extension, they can look uh, which features are the most important and the most, most wanted, so, so this will get the one extension. Of course, the user will write uh, several galleries beside that, but, uh, but I think uh, if this gallery, for example, I take the gallery, uh, matches all the, the wants of the people, the mostly wanted features, it will be become the most used extension. Exactly. It's, it's like um, TT News. There are like five different news extensions. Yeah, and it is possible. It is possible. So you answered your question yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> That's right. So Thanks very much for listening, and um, tonight we're going to finish 4.3. <laughs>if you have any more questions about the 4.4 release, I'll be at the association booth now for another uh, half hour or so, because afterwards I have to leave actually, <laughs> because I have to go to a wedding tomorrow, so if you have any more questions, I'm not going to be available here, but I will always be listening to your questions on, uh, with my email address. All right. I just want to say again that there is this booth uh, outside in the registration hall. And um, in case you didn't notice yet, I know that Francois mentioned it this morning, 
Um, there's always at least two core developers up there which, we can, which you can contact and ask in case you have questions or in case you need some help and would like to participate and don't know how, don't know how to start. Uh, just go there and also bring your questions, of course. Thanks. I also have a short announcement. Um, for my session on Sunday morning, that is uh, when most of you uh, are still sleeping after the uh, coding night. No, uh, after the, la yeah, exactly, social event. Uh, 9.30, uh, originally I, pl I planned to do something about um, best practices and testing and well, I, I thought maybe that's too boring for you, but uh, to give you more incentive, I set up a little list of possible to topics you can pick off. Um, uh, things related to Typo 3.5 and Flow 3, etc. I put that into the uh, Developer Days Wiki page, and um, if you come to that session, you will be able to vote on a topic, and we'll just do that. So. Okay, another announcement. Um, due to the changes in the schedule, the GPG key signing party was moved from tomorrow morning, so sleeping time, to today, 5.30, so in about half an hour in the small room over there. Yeah, and also at 5.30 is um, when the next presentation starts in here about the AM. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> go have a look. Uh, the things changed. Um, yeah, 20 minutes of break, and we start at 5:30. <laughs>